When moving a load with an electric linear actuator, it must be stopped in a way that protects both the actuator and the application. There are a multitude of ways to accomplish what we call end of stroke protection, and these extend to mid-stroke protection as well. The simplest and most common version of this is called an overload clutch. This clutch interfaces the screw assembly and the gearing assembly in the actuator and will slip when an overload is encountered. This overload can occur during the middle of a move or when the end stop of the actuator is reached. The clutch slips and makes an audible click, which tells the user that they can no longer move the load. Users can get more technical with limit switches, which will either mechanically or electronically sense the end of travel and cut power to the motor to stop movement. It can be an internal limit switch like this one or externally mounted on the cover tube of the actuator. The most advanced type of end of stroke protection is called electronic load monitoring, which is where a printed circuit board inside of the actuator will monitor current draw on the motor and cut power when a spike in current is encountered. If you have questions regarding mid-stroke or end of stroke protection, contact Thompson's experienced customer support team. Thank <laughs> you.